Patricia Smart. Uh, how are you going? Good, thanks. So how long have you been creating art? What was the first artwork you can remember making? As a child, I always had a pencil in my hand and I've always loved doing artwork. And the first thing I can remember painting was an ashtray in pottery class, which is a bit strange because I was only about eight years old, and it was shaped like a gum leaf. I can remember making it, I can remember exactly what it looked like, but I don't know what it is now. What was your training in art or defining life experiences that influenced your art making? I left school knowing that I wanted to be an artist. I decided I wanted to be an artist when I was 10. Um, but when I first left school, I was a dental nurse. I went back and studied art as a mature age student. And the surgery that I worked at, um, I painted with murals. And one of the patients came in and asked me to, to paint murals in his video store, which turned into a chain store. And so I decided that I loved doing that. So I started a business called Beck Smart Murals with my business partner, Rebecca Murray. And I've been doing that for 25 years. I've loved doing murals for, that, for the time I've been doing them. Okay, great. Please describe your current practice for our viewers. Well, I still paint murals. But the last four years, I've decided to remove myself from them a little bit and start doing my own work. So I've done a whole lot of different paintings. I'm a bit eclectic in my style. I haven't really um, bogged myself down with one sort of style yet. I'm sort of dabbling in different things. I also do printmaking. I do woodcuts and etchings. And I also like doing ceramic sculptures. Can you describe for the viewers the subject matter of your artworks? Well, I'm very inspired by science and I'm inspired by nature. So I look at uh, microscopic images and satellite images and um, I've done work where I'll collage the two because I like the relationship between both of them. It's a bit like fractals. The more you look down, the bigger things get and the bigger things get, the smaller they get. Uh, so I like that relationship in nature, how things are very, very similar. Excellent. So who would you say are your main influences as an artist? Well, I can't really say that I'm influenced by any artists in particular. I mean, when I studied it, I studied for seven years in art, so I did study a lot of different artists. I like a lot of different movements. I like the abstract expressionists and, of course, the impressionists I love. Um, but I can't say that there's one artist that I really looked at and thought that they were the person that I wanted to be like. Or I like looking at artwork, but I like more like looking at nature and sort of getting my inspiration from, from nature. Excellent. And lastly, Patricia, what are your dreams, hopes, major achievements or aspirations? So I've attended a, a competition down in Tasmania called Sheffield Mule Fest and that's a competition that runs over a week and I've been there three times and I've won People's Choice and Visitor's Choice on two occasions. The last one hasn't been judged yet. Uh, I really would like to be represented by a gallery and to be able to do my own thing and and just have an exhibition once or twice a year, that would be my dream <laughs> and be able to work from home. And, and what would be your hopes? My hope would be that I'd become a recognised artist. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Thank you very much for your time, Patricia. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>